I take over now. I'm braking hard because the car would not stop to these stop lights, uh, stop signs here. Nah, car doesn't stop. There's the camera built into the car, which is not shown anywhere on the screen. It's not active at the moment. Well, guess what? They will activate this camera now. All right, I just got a message this morning to install the new software update 2020.20.12 which I already did. And let's see what's new in this update. GPS update. We have updated your car's GPS to improve stability and tracking. Please note that it will be unavailable for uh, to recalibrate. That's fine. Fallout Shelter is a game which they have imported now to the Tesla. I will definitely have a look at this. This sounds interesting. Theater mode improvements. You can now control your theater. Most people will probably just ignore these comments. All right, you can now use the left steering wheel knob to control your video. You can pause it, play it, or if you push it left and right, you can skip um, five seconds. Yeah, it's exactly five seconds. Yeah, you can skip forward and backward in your video now. Cool. And the next thing is we've got some tracks improvement. Tracks is the um, tracks is the music maker app. Yeah, I think it's in the toy box here, uh, tracks. Yeah, so there are improvements for this application if you're into making music in your car. And this is the Fallout Shelter uh, game, which they have implemented now. So you have to control your underground vault and populate it with some um, people, give them jobs to do and develop your whole um, situation there. It's your job to expand and maintain the vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. That's like one of these developing games, you know, from your Android or Apple phone. Well, you understand the basics of it. I will probably play now for half an hour or an hour here and forget about the video. Oh, look at the graphics. They're pretty good. 3D optimized, very smooth scrolling here as expected. And of course, we are doing a test drive with the newer software version 2020.20.12 in the test lander here and see what has improved. Because this is the main update we were all waiting for. This is the update when the car stops itself at traffic lights, at stop signs. And we want to test this. We want to see this. We want to experience this. So the car is now in autopilot. We are coming up to the stop sign here at the intersection highway. I want to see if the car slows down actually onto the highway. I take over now. I'm braking hard because the car would not stop to these stop lights, uh, stop signs here at all. This was a fail. Let um, me try the same from the other side again. I just slow down the car a little bit to about 55 and see if the car is actually stopping at the stop lights, stop signs. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. Okay, next test, red traffic light. No, nah. car doesn't stop. See if we get any phantom braking here uphill when cars coming towards us. No, no phantom braking anymore. Well, I'm driving in autopilot now for about 10 15 minutes and I could not find any flaw so far, so everything seems to be fine. No phantom braking anymore. All the speed signs are correctly recognized, which came with the last map update. But so far, everything seems to be working as designed no problems okay so we are now doing our right left right curve test situation here again car drives with 100 again recommended speed is 80 and car is slowing down before the curve comes to 72 
neck then it speeds up out of the curve again now gets faster back to 100 recommended is 80 yep car slows down to 90 that's all right and now it slows down a little bit more to 70 That's maybe a little bit too slow. 80 would be all right, but still okay. Far better than before. And here comes the last right turn curve. Recommended is 70. Car is braking to 65. It's a bit too slow for my taste here even I'm driving slow but that's a bit too much but as I said before you can always override these settings with your acceleration pedal and speed up the car again let me try again the other way around quickly breaks down to 70 here it could drive with 80 kilometers per hour, I think, in this curve. Yeah, 80 is fine, 80, 85 is fine. 70 is a bit too low. Here again, left turn curve, 80 is recommended. 100 is allowed. Car brakes to 75, 74, even further inside the curve now. I think it tries a little bit more conservative now than with the last update when they introduced this feature actually. Eighty kilometers right now, there's a seventy kilometer sign. Now it comes. So this has not changed. I, I just watched this a couple of times now with different speed zones and the car is not slowing down at the sign. It is always 50 meters behind the actual sign so we are back home now with the test lander and you could see the car did not stop at traffic lights or stop signs at all it would have killed me and there's no surprise there because i didn't purchase full self-driving only if you purchased fsd full self-driving you will get this feature but also then you have a slightly different version of software I've got the 2020.20.12 and there is a 2020.20.13 available for cars with full self-driving capability. And then you will get the feature like traffic light and stop sign control beta, where the car will actually stop at traffic lights and stop signs. So don't, don't be fooled. This is the update we were waiting for, but only for people who purchased full self-driving. And guys, fair enough, they paid a lot of money for that. So they should get a lot of more functionality out of that. Well, if you have a car without full self-driving, you still need to brake for stop signs and traffic lights, of course. So pay attention, don't kill yourself. And the other thing I discovered was the um, GPS update we got with this software update here to improve the um, yeah, location of the car I could not see any improvement when speed zones change. So the car still goes a lot further before it actually slows down or speeds up again than the actual um, sign is. So there's no obvious improvement in positioning the car in regards to these um, speed zones. Wow, it's really getting dark. We're getting some rain now. And uh, talking about software updates, there are more software updates on the way, of course. And the next ones will bring more features. For example, if you are reversing, it will show you the repeater cameras as well. So not only the back view camera is visible, but also the two repeater cameras left and right of the car. So you can actually see what is going on left and right of the car while you're reversing. And you may remember the video I made about the Sentry viewer in the Tesla Model 3 now. And I compared this to the mobile app and I said, well, I would like to have a feature where I can actually see when the event was triggered. And I cannot fast forward on the screen as I can in the mobile app. And guess what? Tesla must have watched my video. So in one of the next updates, there will be a red dot on the timeline, which indicates the trigger moment 
of the century event. So you just tap on the red dot on the timeline and it will jump right into the event which has triggered it. So, I mean, how good is that? That's amazing, right? And another big feature will come. So usually when you walk away from the car, the car locks. It folds the mirrors, it beeps at you, it turns everything off, the car locks totally. You can now turn this off for certain locations. For example, if you are at home and you don't, you park in your garage or as we park in the, in the carport here, I usually don't lock my car. I never did with the PHEV. Well, we've got three dogs on the property here, so good luck to get in. So we will be able to turn this off so I can walk away from the car and, and the car will not lock anymore because I'm at home. I don't need to lock my car here. This is really something which was super annoying. Well, it still is until this update comes. And we will see the possibility to preheat your battery even if you navigate to third party uh, charging stations as well. Usually this only works when you navigate to a supercharger, but this will come for third party charging stations as well. I am not a big fan of this preheating of batteries. I rather would spend some more time at the charger and keep the battery cooler, but hey, I'm sure this feature will come as well in the future where you can turn off the preheating of the battery. And then a very controversial feature will come as well in the future update. Remember this little guy here above the mirror? There's a camera built into the car, which is not shown anywhere on the screen. It's not active at the moment. Well, guess what? They will activate this camera now. And they are saying Tesla will only take a snippet of this video in case of an event, of an emergency, of an accident. And this camera always was a bit controversial everywhere because nobody knew exactly what's going on if Tesla is using using this camera actually already or if this is a future thing for the full self-driving for the Tesla network where you can actually rent out your car to other people and they drive it while you are at work. And this was the main purpose of it. This was always what was advertised from Elon and from Tesla. This is to prevent vandalism of your car if you are not in the car and let the car drive itself in an Uber style driving situation with the Tesla network, which is which is far, far, far away. I mean, we were talking about full self-driving. The car drives itself without you being in the car. Well, and then you think, how do they get the information one minute prior to an accident? So they must be recording and buffering this video footage already somewhere in the system and then take like the sentry event, just take the last minute or so and let a snippet and upload this to the Tesla network. So the engineers can have a look and see what is actually going on. Have you been doing something? Is it your fault? Is it the car's fault? That's how they advertise it at the moment. So nobody knows i've seen pictures online where people have actually put some some masking tape or some insulation tape electrical tape um, over this camera so they are a bit worried what's going to happen but i mean what are you doing in your car right yeah guys so far this summary for this update now 2020.20.12 and .13 if you have full self-driving and only then remember your car may stop at traffic lights and stop signs. Who knows? You have to test this. You have to be very careful. It is always in beta. You are under control. You are in charge. You are responsible of what you are doing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon. And I'm continuing playing Fallout Shelter now. It's so addicting. Sick. <laughs>